Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today's the big day. Those of you that are following these videos of me sewing, today's the big day. We did a couple of videos where I shared with you me learning the first steps of sewing, the basics, what you need and all that. Then we stepped to the world of patterns, how to work with patterns, uh, how to use them, how to use them uh, on fabric, how to, to cut out the fabric, the pieces that you need, uh, relying on the pattern and all that. And now this next step is, of course, assembling, assembling the whole thing. This is so exciting. And I've been, you know, kicking the can, as they say it, uh, because I don't know, I'm looking a little bit up to this um, because this is a step. If you ruin this, then all the work have been for nothing. So, but take a deep breath, relax, and let's do this. Let's assemble, you guys. I have my uh, sewing machine at the ready and the iron board. So, because you're gonna be needing this. So guys, step one. Step one is this. The want us to uh, stitch the pocket on one of the front side, you know, on the chest. So on your left side, when you're wearing it, this should be on the left side. So we need the pocket and we need one of the front, the left front, okay? So we have the pocket here, as you can see. It's just a shame that they tell you to fold it here, see? Fold here. I understand that, but where is the allowance on both sides? I mean, all around, where is the allowance? Because you cannot stitch this right on it. That's something they tell you in the instructions, look. So the edges should be three centimeter fold inside. So you have to measure three centimeter all around. And then here you don't have to measure because here they have this for you, see? So let's do that first. So guys, like I said, from what I understand from this is that they suggest you should have uh, fold edges. Uh, the allowance of here should be Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. Mike is busy in the back. But like I was saying, they suggest for this pocket, um, the edge should be three centimeter on both sides, and then you should fold that in. So to create the actual pocket, which will be this, what's left over. But three centimeter is really big because look, three centimeter on each side is too much. I mean, I mean, look at that. This is three centimeter. And that's three centimeters. So you, you'll be left with nothing. Just a pocket where your finger can fit in. So no. So I did two centimeters on both sides. And then two centimeters here. And how do you do this? These edges is... This is how I measured by two centimeters. So you just put it like this. You just go with this line. You know, first I measured from the center. First I measured from the center to centimeters like this the dead center see like this then i had the point and then i used that point as a reference to create my two centimeters on this side like this see so this is the two centimeter and i did the same thing here two centimeter here and then i draw the line so Anyway, so I'm going to fold this and then uh, press it to make sure that it stays in place and then go over to one of these fronts, the left front, to stitch it on there. So this will be the first step. Exciting. So guys, I just pressed it with the paper still on it, with all the guidelines. So, and then this is what you end up with. See? This is the pocket. Let's stitch it on. So guys, when I, so I folded in the allowance that I, I just uh, gave you two centimeter on each side, but then when I, you know, put the the pocket on the whole thing, the package is just ridic ridiculously smaller. It's just not even in, in comparison. It's just 
doesn't make sense. So what I do, what I do is, um, what I did is instead of two centimeters, I'm, I brought it down to one centimeter. And that's this new line that you see here. So I'm gonna fold it again, but now only give it an allowance of one centimeter instead of two. It's just so sad that this step, it's just not, um, I don't know, it's just not concrete enough for me. I mean, look at what they say, neaten edges. Press facing to inside on fold line. This I get, this is this fold line. Top stitch, upper edge of pocket for view B. Which view B? These, these are the steps that they give you. Okay, so these are the steps that they give you. But I think that what they mean for view B is this. So this is A and this is B. So if you want this nice edge, see the pocket has some sort of a stitched edge. This is what you should do. Give it an allowance of three centimeter, which is, I think it's this one. Let's just measure it. Yeah, it's three centimeters. So it's this one. So that's if you want the pocket to look like this. Uh, let's see. Press allowance at remaining pocket edges for views A and B to inside. Pin pockets to left front at butting line and stitch close to edges. 1A. Okay, so this I don't get. I mean, this right here, see? These folds that they folded inside. Where are the measurements for that? They don't give you that. And if you happen to be watching, you'd be like, duh, it's right there. Please tell me because I don't see it. I'm, I'm showing you the text as I'm seeing it, as I'm reading off the paper. So these, these pieces, these allowance, why don't you help? Why don't they help you by, you know, adding lines here so that you know where you should fold them inside? And I think it's a shame. It's just a missed chance. Again, and the same goes for this. They tell you to keep it closer to this line, but how close? I mean, what are, what, what's the measurement here? What's the distance here? Why don't you give me that? I mean, isn't this what this freaking uh, pattern is for? So now, and b how high should it be? So the only thing I can see is that it should be higher than this lower point of the armhole. It's the only thing that I know, some sort of a 90 degrees uh, corner right there. But they want you, to put the, the pocket closer to the bottom uh, button line. But how close? What should the dis distance be? Because I don't like, I mean, normally the shirts that I buy, they're not really to the edge of the button line. They're more like in between. If anything, they'd be like more toward the armhole than to the button line. So I don't know. So this is something you have to figure out. So from this now on, they're not really... They're not really helping you step by step, which is a shame. It's just, it's just general text. Do this, do that. It's just a shame. Okay, so this is more like it. See, on the whole, this is somewhat more in uh, better proportions, you know, compared to the whole, to the whole size. So now I'm going to draw a line, but first I'm going to look up the other, um, how do you say that? I keep forgetting, not this one, but the other one. And just put it against here to create a 90 degrees uh, corner and then draw a line right above the lowest point of the armhole. That's where you want to have the pocket. And I'm not going to do what they say, I'm not going to uh, put it more toward this. I'm going to be putting it more toward right here. More in, more in the middle. I think the middle should be fine. Just look up uh, a line um, uh, between, a space between in the middle. Just make sure that it's above the lowest point of the armhole, like I'm showing you. So this will be on your chest, your left side, while wearing, uh, wearing this. So now let me show you what I mean. So get one of these things, these... Uh, What do you call this? My God. Anyway, I'm not going to spend time thinking about this. I forgot the name of this in English. Um, like this, align it with this edge. 
and then look at the space in between and then draw a line so that you will remember where to align this while stitching it. Okay, just a thin line. And, uh, now, because I'm practicing, I'm just using a pencil, but when you're doing the real thing, you have to have a pencil that's also washable, that uh, washes off once you're done, because otherwise you're gonna be uh, stuck with a stupid line in your project, on your fabric, so we don't want that. But for now, it doesn't matter. It's just, you know, I'm just practicing on this. So first I'm gonna create that decoration line, as I like to call it, that doesn't have a function, just for decorating it like the, the one is to, or the suggest to. Uh, so, you know, these are the setting with zero, the middle tension four, and just align it with the outer line of this little uh, foot. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do and just make a line. So there it is, and now I'm gonna put the top, align it with that line that we draw earlier, remember? With the line, is that called the line or the measure line? or, And then follow, stitch along the one centimeter allowance that we folded in. This is one centimeter that's folded in and pressed to help us. Just go like this along the whole centimeter, the one centimeter lines. Okay, so make sure that you're on the, because one centimeter is not that much, so make sure that, you know, uh, just to be uh, safe that your um, your needle is more toward the outside, see? Not in the middle, but more to the, more to the outside. So when you're looking at it, it's the most outer um, position, like this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is the line line the top don't stitch here because otherwise you won't have an open pocket don't make that mistake that i just made i forgot <laughs> then line it and then this is the position and then make sure that your needle is on this stitch that will create a nice shape see so like this and then you know just do, like i said do the stitch follow the one one centimeter that you fold how can you follow it? Well, the centimeter is folded, of course, to the inside. So make sure that this out, outside is always aligned to the outside of this little foot here. That's how I'm gonna try and do it. So when you come to the corner, stop. And then I think you call it pivot. Just turn around until you have the right angle. So for example, now I'm in the middle, so I need to go up from there because the line is going diagonal. Up, see, like this. So I need to align, I need to align this again to the outside so that it's one straight line. And when I come here, I'm gonna stop, turn around and then align it again so that it's always one straight line with this outside. All right, so that's our pocket. See? This is our pocket. And if you do not want it to be visible, then you can always choose a thread that's uh, the same color of the fabric. Especially if you have fabric with motifs on it, you won't be able to see this. Because look, I had to backstitch, because otherwise, how are you going to... Uh, finish it so it's not perfect but it's there and it's a pocket for now so next you tell me okay so this is the inside okay so this is the pocket so the same thing that where we have the pocket it's this this piece still this piece the left piece it's one is step two now first press Front edge is the inside on fold line, and then on, and then on facing fold line, pin and stitch close to edges. So this is the fold line. Remember, we use this to cut two pieces. So this is the top. So this is the first fold line. This is what it says fold, and then this is what it says facing fold. 
Okay, I'm just trying to make sense of it. So I need to fold this. So the first one, let me see. Now first press front edges to inside. First press front edges to inside on fold line. Front edges to inside on fold line. So this so it's this one. So it's this one. This one should be folded inside like this. Okay, let me do that first. So I'm gonna measure all these lines, measure all these lines, and then copy them on this one. Okay. Um, I, I could have used this one, but I don't know. I could have used this one. Could have been easier, maybe. Anyway, it's just what it is right now. So I forgot. I should have used this one, which already has everything on it. But anyway, I'm just going to copy all these lines, the whole thing, the whole section, all these three sections. I'm going to copy them. Uh, measure them and then copy them on this fabric and then come back to you guys. Yeah. The sewing machine was acting up a little bit. So that's what you see here. Otherwise, it, it would have been a perfect pocket. So that's what you see here. I don't know why. It looks like the tension is too, too high. See? Because it's all... It's all tight here, so I should have used a lower tension, maybe three. All right, so I copied all the lines. So again, let's see, it says here, fold. So this is the first, first banner. We're going to fold right here and then fold inside, I assume. Let's see what the instruction says. Step two. One last time. Now, first press front edges to inside. First press front edges to inside on fold line. And then on facing fold line. Okay. So, guys, once you do that, you know, so the idea is first fold this and press it. And then fold it again on this line. So the first two lines. You fold the first two lines inside and then you fold the second uh, uh, one. Okay, so what you get is this. See? This is the first line, this is the second line. Just to give you an idea. First line, second line. So, first line, you fold inside, you press, and then you fold it once again inside and you press. See, that's, this, is, this is the idea. And now they want us to stitch close to the edge. Which edge? The inside edge, right here. Where does it say that? It says, it says that right here. It's because this is the front and this is the back. So we need to be stitching on the inside. And they want us to stay on the inside, uh, stitching, you know, looking at it from the inside, close to the edge, as you can see here. So it means that this is the back of the pocket I will be stitching very close to the edge. So let's do that. So on your sewing machine, this is how it should be like. The inside facing you. And then tension four, maybe we should go to three. I don't know guys, let's try. Or at least in between. The needle to the left, all the way to the left, see? The width is zero. And then make sure that this is aligned with the outside of this little foot. And that's how we do stitching close to the edge. I'm not really sure about the tension. Let's just keep it somewhere in the middle, but more leaning to the fore. So step two. Step two is now done. This is the front and this is the back. And this is how they're showing it to you as step two. Look, this is the pocket. This is the back side of the pocket. Let me just show it to you. So, yeah, this is it, you guys. Stay to the edge.
on the wrong side. This is what it is showing you. See? Step two. Now we're going to a somewhat complicated step, which is three. Like I said, we have the double yoke, which says here, I didn't see it. I, didn't see, I had to look it up and understand, but I'm so blind sometimes with stress. It says here, double yoke. I told you that I had, I, I figured it out by myself. It's just, it's right there. In the last video, I was like, why do we have two yokes? Well, they're doing the double, uh, double yoke. So let's see if I can pull that off. Step three and three A. All right, let's see. So guys, now we're doing the yoke. Of course, now it doesn't matter because uh, there is no wrong or right side of the fabric. It's just the same, all the same. But uh, when you're working with a real project, you're really gonna have uh, to work, you know, to pay uh, closer attention to what they're saying here. Like what's the wrong, what's the right side. So basically this we need, for this, we need the double yoke, the double pieces of the yoke, see? There's the other one, there's the other one. And then we need the back. Uh, so what it basically is, just make sure that this, when it comes up, it comes up on the right side of the fabric. So this should be the inside of the fabric of the yoke that you're looking right now. This is the right side of the back. And then you lay the yoke on it and the top should be the right, the wrong side of the fabric, okay? So that when it's done, it's stitched together, you just uh, flip it back and you have something like this and it's all the right side of the fabric. So what you do is, what you do is this, lay one yoke with the right side. So this is the right side. This is the, the uh, this is the bottom yoke. Then on top of that, the back. Let me see. Yeah. So. So the right fab. Uh, the uh, one side of the yoke should be the right fabric. That's how you, st you start to uh, pile them up. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. This is the wrong side. This is the wrong side of the yoke, like this. This is the wrong side. So you flip it like this, and this is also the wrong side. So you end up with. Something like this. Let me see. Let me see, guys. I really need to think. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is the right side. So, this is how you put it. This is the right side of the fabric of the first yoke. The right. The Okay. Then the back. The back is the right side of the fabric. And then the other yoke, you put like that. And this is the wrong side of the fabric. Okay, so that when when you're done, you stitch them together and you flip them back, you'll have the right side of the fabric on this and you have the right side on, on the fabric of that, that side. So that's how you should do it. Okay, so I'm going to stitch them together and come back to you. So this is what you end up with. See, so this is the wrong side of the fabric. That one is more yellower, but it doesn't matter because the yoke inside or outside the both what you're looking at right now is you're looking always at the right side of the yoke whether it's the one that's inside that will be against your shoulder inside or the outside see so this is what you get this is what they call the double yoke i must say it came out perfect don't mind the folds and the wrinkles in the fabric. See, it's aligned perfectly. So that's the double yoke, you guys. It looks like a joke. Looks like a joke, yeah. This one doesn't. I'm proud of my work so far. <laughs> so guys, to tell you the truth, this English right here, maybe it's, I'm tired, maybe I don't have the patience, but what kind of English is this? I mean, let me read you a sentence. Paint outer yoke piece right sides together with front piece. Seam number two. What's seam number two? I mean, we're here in step number five. So we're step number five. I mean, what's seam number two? Why are you indicating what seam number two is? It's just terrible. So I guess. I'm just gonna fo follow logic. We have this, 
So now we need we need to work and the tell us that's what I that's what I get out of this. We they tell us that we need to stitch the front to the back. So we need to assemble the front and the back. Okay. Based inside yoke piece at front yoke joining seam. Based neckline edges of yoke piece together. Press work from right fabric side of garment to top stitch yoke close to joining seam. Catching inside yoke piece. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. So I guess what I'm going to do right now is make sure that the circle is nice and perfect while joining the front pieces to the back. And that's it. That will be my guiding line. So, so this is the back. This is the back. This is the right side. This is the front. This is the wrong side. I'm just going to join them like this. Make sure they align and then stitch them like this. And then the other side again the wrong side of the fabric at this side so that when you flip them back you have a shirt with this as the right back and then the front as the, the the with the right side of fabric guys i don't know maybe i should just give up maybe i should just give up they tell us what to do with one front side what about the other one so this is just the one the left front side what about the other one we need one side with buttons other side with buttonholes where is the section where they teach us how where to do the buttonholes or the buttons either one just look we're going for a shirt with buttons God, this is terrible. Really. This is terrible. This, this this doesn't work for me. This Buddha style. This is not it. Doesn't work for me. I really need to um, get into this in some different way. This does not work. I'm not. I'm not following. I cannot follow all the steps. I mean, where's the other front? I mean, I'm showing you. I'm sure if you're an expert, you know what to do. But this is supposed to help people, guide them step by step. Where's the other front? This is just the front with the pocket. Where's the other front? How am I supposed to make the buttons or the holes? Either one. Where is it? It's crazy. It's really crazy. And you think on the other side? No, the other side, they're just talking about cuffs. See? It's just the cuffs and the armhole. It's terrible. I just looked up on YouTube to see if there is anyone else that's doing the tutorial. And there is, there is this seamster English and the pattern that she's showing, honestly, guys, I'm not, I'm not lying or I'm not kidding. That's serious. What she's showing is completely different from what I have here. Hers are much detailed. They even have the seam allowance. The whole thing is on there. Everything that I'm missing that's frustrating me right now when you're far into this project. But her paper looked old, so I figured out those are maybe, th that's maybe the old style. They used to give you a lot of details, and now they don't for some reason. I mean, look at this. This is where the buttons should be. Where is the seam allowance for the buttons? Nothing. Just nothing at all. You just have to, to figure it out yourself. It's crazy. It's crazy. So I'm going to stop here, see what I can do next time. What are you doing? Why do you look like you're caught in the middle of something? Hmm? Sky Love you. So I'm in this mess. I was trying, still learning to make a men's shirt. And I thought, let's do be smart and get one of these pre-designed patterns. Only thing I have to do is just cut it out and all that. It's terrible, you guys. It's terrible. It's just, I'm missing steps. That's what you pay for. Anyway, meanwhile, Mike has turned our living room into an arcade. 